Hey guys, Lunar Spire 1127 here, bringing you Bleach Chapter 497, Kill the Shadow 2. So the chapter begins with the four stone reachers stealing all four Shinigami captains bonkais. We get to see the reactions of the rest of the lieutenants and captains, uh, and they're pretty surprised by this. But we also learn a little bit more about what the stern reacher actually did instead of stealing the bonkai. Because we cut back to Toshiro and Rangiku, and Toshiro, he's trying to, he says that he can't sense anything from his Zanpak toe, and he's like begging Hyo and Mara to say something. So it's possible that not only did the stern reacher steal the Shinigami's bankais, but they also stole the Zanpak toe spirits as well. So and if they stole the Zanpak toe spirits, then that means that not only can the Shinigami captains can't use their bankais, but it's possible that they can't use their shikais as well. They probably can't use their Zanpak toe abilities without the Zanpakuto spirit themselves. It's nothing more but a sword now. Uh, that's my theory. So, um, Toshiro orders Rangiku to use the Tente Kura to send a message to all the captains not to use their Bankais no matter what because they will steal them. And then we get to see the reactions of the rest of the Shinigami captains. And from hearing the news via Tente Kura, uh, Mayori, he's He's pissed off that they that they didn't wait for him to finish his analysis. <laughs> and we're gonna see Yamamoto, I guess, from his reaction, he's about to hurry into the battlefield as well. Um it's possible that he could be facing off against the leader of the Vandenreich, Buckbeard, but that would be pretty interesting to see. Uh then we cut back to Shinsley and his opponent. Um no it's not really known who this Stern Reacher is, but all I know is that he's this old man with a mustache. Well, not really old man, more like a um, middle-aged man with uh, glasses and a mustache. Kind of looks like Gordon from Batman, but uh, that's just me. So their battle begins with the Quipsy coming in front of uh, Shinsui. He pulls out this uh, gun. Yeah, he, yeah, apparently um, Quincy's use guns. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not so surprised, but hey, it's the Quincy's. You think they use bow and arrows, but they could also use swords too, so who knew? Anyway, um, he tries to shoot Shinsui in the head, but Shinsui dodges, and he tries to slash him, but um, unfortunately, uh, the Quincy, he uses something called Grimanial. I don't know if it's his Lester Steel or his Quincy Volstandig, but, um, but it kind of looked like, um, dude. It kind of looks like Kurt J. Opie's, um, Lexter Steel. That's what I, th at least that's what I thought. Because he had the same halo and the, the, sh the wings like Kurt J. Opie. But anyway, he managed to get in front of Shinsui and shoot him in the eye. Yeah, that was, um, quite surprising, really. <laughs> but this battle was pretty short, and we had to go back to Yuki Shino and the rest of the Shinigami. Yes, uh, she. Shino is actually panicking over Kajumaru, and yes, I called it, he's dead. Well, he's gotta be dead, at least. Then we cut back to the light-haired Quincy. He's talking with Buckgear, the leader of the Vandenreich. He's like, it appears as if this squad has already lost their will to fight. But Buckbeard's like, leave it to me. If you think sparing them would be the benign choice, then do so. So it looks like that... The light-haired Quincy has been ordered to spare the the Shinig that Shinigami squad, from at least as what, at least as what Buckbeard is saying, from what I can understand. Then we cut back to as notes Renji and Byakuya. Renji is about to use his bankai, but Byakuya is like, "Stop! You're gonna if you use it, yours will be taken away." But but Renji, he's like, "Captain, how are we supposed to fight these guys?" It looks like that they're trying to str they're struggling with the fact that Stern Reacher can't take away the Zanpak Toe abilities, and Renji's like trying to figure out how the heck they're gonna how the hell they're gonna be able to beat them without their Bonkai's. Um, now it's not really confirmed whether the Stern Reacher can only take away one Bonkai, but it could be possible that Asno can try to take away Renji's Bonkai as well. But right after that, we cut to like different scenes of the Shinigami getting slaughtered and the Seite or Society um, 
the buildings were being destroyed. It's actually turning into a freaking war here. And for some reason, I'm enjoying this war a lot more than the war going on in Naruto. <laughs> but anyway, we cut back to um, the research and development center. Akon orders one of his uh, subordinates to contact Ichigo. His subordinate says, we need the captain's permission, but Akon's like, the captains are fighting in front lines. We have no time. I'll take full responsibility. Just get Ichigo! And that's where the chapter ends. So, yeah, this chapter... I gotta admit, it was a it was a decent chapter. I gotta admit, um... Some of the fight scenes, they were a bit short with, uh... Shinsui and the old... The elder Quincy, um... It, it, it was a pretty good, uh... Fight to begin with, but it was a bit cut short. Um... But I did like the fact that Kubo revealed that the Stern Reacher were able to steal more than just the Shinigami's Bankais. And I like the fact that they have to rely on the main character to help defeat them. But there's one thing I just don't understand. If the Stern Reacher were able to steal the Shinigami's Bankais, and possibly the Zanpak Toe Spirits, why couldn't Ivan be able to steal... Ichigo's Bankai. Granted, um, the emblem, it, I don't know if Ivan used the same technique that um, the Stern Reacher used, but if it was, how come Ichigo can't, Ichigo's Bankai wasn't stolen? I don't care if he's like the main character, I mean, what what was his case? Was it because, you know, he's a human, he's not really a Shinigami, is, is that it? Or, I, I don't know. Um, as for next week's chapter, it looks like if they're going to be able to contact um, Ichigo, that means next week's chapter we might go back to Hueco Mundo and see what the heck is going on with between Kurji Opie and Ichigo. Is it possible that the Wankars might ally them and help defeat them? Because if they defeat the Vandenreich, that means that Hueco Mundo will be free from their tyranny. So. I gotta admit, this was a it was a decent chapter. I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10. The action was, despite being brief, it was pretty good. And learning a we do learn a little bit more about the bankai stealing techniques, even though it hasn't been really confirmed yet. But it's it's still possible that they were able to steal the Zanpak Toe spirits as well. Now, how the Shinigami are able gonna are able to defeat the Stern Reacher without their bankai? Maybe it's possible that the Stern Reacher can only steal one Bankai, they could probably still use their Shikai, right? I mean, some of them can use their Shikai to use this, beat the Stern Reacher, but, or they still have their Kido spells as well, but this is definitely a tough battle, really. These these Stern Reacher, the Vandenreich, they're, they're pretty tough opponents, so... So this was a, it was still a decent chapter, and I can't wait to see what happens next. So 